Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on Google Lab Script tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we are going to see how to set a value to a cell and how to set a value to a range. So in the last video, we explored um, more methods about how to get values from Google Sheet. And in this video, we are going to see how to set values as I mentioned earlier. And I have opened a Google App Script Editor here. If you're not sure, go to Tools and Script Editor which will open the app script editor here. So I have a default function sheet app, and now we are going to set value to a cell. So let's see how to do that. I want to set value, some random value to the cell A4. So let's see how to do that. Here, we have to use a spreadsheet app interface and get active spreadsheet method, followed by you have to locate this, the exact sheet name and the sheet name here is a sheet one so either you can copy here and use a method get sheet by name and pass the sheet name here and before setting a value to a cell you have to get or target that particular cell value for that you have to use a method get range and in the get range you have to specify the cell that you're targeting so i'm targeting this a4 so it's on the fourth row, first column. So I can specify the same here, fourth row, first column. And after that, I can use a method set value. And this accept one argument and whatever the value that you pass in this argument, that should get updated here. So let's say I'm writing a word test. And if I click on the run, here you can see that test is updated. You can also pass an integer value here and click on the run. The same will get updated here and you can also pass a date here. I'm using a date function, which is similar to uh, how uh, you are using that in the JavaScript. So here uh, it populate the date here. So this is how you can set a value to a cell. And this is a one way of setting a value by giving a row number and column number. Also, you can use a string notation. So just assume that you want to set value to a B4. So I can just pass that as B4 here. And I have to specify the value that I want to set. Let's say B4 cell. And if I execute that, the string will get updated here. So this is how you can set a value to a cell. And next, we will see how to set value to a range so this is quite similar to the same one how we are using a get range but in the get range you have to specify the range and instead of set value you have to use a method set values so that's a difference between setting a value to a cell and set a value to a range so i will copy the same here I'll copy and put it over here. So just assume that I'm going to set some values from A5 to C7. Let me highlight that. So I have to give a range A5 to C7. And I have to use a method set values so that I can pass multiple values to this particular method. So set values basically accept a 2D array or two dimensional array. So you have to specify the array and inside the array, you have to pass the child array. So each child array represent a row here. And if you see, we have three rows, five, six, and seven. So I have to specify three child arrays here. And each child array can hold up to three elements because the number of columns here is three. And here I can specify four, comma test, comma true. So you can pass any data type here as long as the data type supported by this set. Let's say hello and five, six, seven, eight point nine zero something. So that's it. I have passed three rows of data. As I mentioned earlier, the first 
element represent the fifth row because uh, we are locating the range starting from a5 so this will automatically locate this fifth row and the second element locate the sixth row and the third element target for sound row so let's go ahead and execute this and see how it works so if you go back here you can see the data is populated here so that's it now you know how to set a value to a cell and how to set value to a range in the spreadsheet so that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye